Um, hello! Well, you're probably pretty confused, and that's fine, it's to be expected, but, look, I have to explain all this constantly, and I don't really care to do it again. I'd say I do it hundreds of times a day, but time doesn't really exist here, so... Look, all you need to do is walk outside into the hallway and into your first trial. Your body will be reenacting events exactly as they'd occurred before. Simply put, your free will won't exactly be that free anymore. I'll be watching you so I can tally up your score, but fair warning, I typically deal with the, um, let's just say the people I judge typically score on the lower end, so <laughs> have fun with that on your mind. So you understand what you're supposed to do? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you can't respond. I've set all this up so you can't talk. I know, I know, it seems a bit harsh, but if you had to listen to people panicking for eternity, you'd get pretty sick of it, too. Oh, where am I? What's going on? I want to see my family! It gets annoying. You know, it's almost like no one even reads the sign I put up. All right, enough talk. Head out into the hall and start your first trial. Let's get this over with. How are you holding up, Evelyn? You're not looking too hot. No, I, I'm fine. I'm just... shit. Looking at this makes me feel sick. I'll get used to it. Yeah, it's hard the first few times. You're not a real investigator until you don't puke on the body. <laughs> uh, Matt! Ugh. Mm. Let's talk about anything else. Did you check the report? No, not yet. I'll check it out. Try not to lose your lunch while I'm at it. <laughs> Very funny. I need to check out that report to see what I'm working with. I think I left it on the hood of the cruiser. Uh... Says here that someone driving nearby heard a gunshot at the location. When they came to check it out, they saw the body... Only one shot was heard. No assailant has been identified. Not much more to go off of. What does it say? Just that some people heard a gunshot and saw the body. I'm not working with much. You hang tight. I'm gonna have a look around. <sighs> Evelyn has a long ways to go, but I think she's gonna do well on the force. One of the most promising rookies I've met. Just takes time. A few more ride-alongs will do her good. This knife has blood on it. Fresh blood. Had to have been used in whatever altercation happened here. Hmm. 
This casing belongs to a 9mm bullet. I don't see a weapon around here, though. Male, probably in his early 30s. Given the bullet hole in his head, I'd have to say he died from a gunshot wound. Looks like the bullet went straight through. Looks like someone should had probably a bad take a look day. at that blood. The blood only seems to be coming from his head, so there likely wasn't much of a struggle. Oh, and would you look at that? Someone left a trail of blood. Yeah, I'm not going in there if I don't have to. just have found a motive. Four hundred dollars cash. But why toss it away? I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should see what I can find along the trail. The blood should be a good indicator where to look. Not the cheap stuff either. Strong. Some people would pay good money for this. The blood trail heads into that cave. I need to be careful. abdomen. It's deep, too. He most likely died from blood loss, probably not too long after crawling in here. I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should see what I can find along the trail. The blood should be a good indicator where to look. Looks like this handgun was discarded, and rather hastily at that. Safe to assume this was used at the scene. All right, I think that should about do it. I should reconvene with Evelyn before we head back to the precinct. Hey, Ev. Hey, Matthew. Did you find everything you need? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So, what do you think happened, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I'm gonna need to review a lot of it, but here's my theory. 
Our friend here on the ground came here to get his hands on some pills. Maybe during the deal, he had the bright idea that maybe he could leave with his pills and his money. So he took a gamble and stabbed his dealer. In turn, the dealer acted in self-defense and shot the guy, killing him. Scared, the dealer grabbed everything and ran, or at least got away as fast as he could with a stab wound. He tried to discard the evidence as he went, but he didn't really have time to hide it. He got to the cave before realizing he couldn't get any further, so that's where he stopped to bleed out and die. Jesus. Again, that's just my theory. There'll be a whole lot more review, and it's just a whole process. Yeah. Hey, Matt, can I ask you a question? What's up, Ev? Why? Why do you think this happens? What do you mean? A, a drug deal gone wrong? No. No, just... These people. Why do they resort to this? Just seems like some people don't see right and wrong. Maybe I'm just being naive, but I can't put myself in that headspace. Killing another person by choice? Hmm. I don't know if anything brings them to it. I, I think they may just be that way. Hardwired to do wrong. I don't know. I don't have much remorse for them. They've done bad. In my eyes, if you do something wrong, you deserve what's coming to you. You can't start sympathizing for them. That's when you start getting bad at your job. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's get back in the cruiser. Head back to the precinct. I need to sort through all of this. Yeah. Right behind you. No, a police officer is definitely not what I expected from you. A man of the law. <laughs> Being a member of the police force doesn't exactly say much about your character, but it is a job aimed at keeping peace. Oh boy, I cannot wait to see how you screwed all of this up. Well, hey, don't stop on my accord. Head on out into your second trial. Okay, let's get a little light in here. That's better. Alright, I need to get some work done. I know I need to check my email. Definitely need to get my bills paid, too. Good thing Joseph's asleep. That'll make things easier. Ah, damn it. Looks like they're cutting funding from the police force again. Barely even pay for my medication. How the hell am I supposed to keep this up? Especially with all these budget cuts. I may need to start prioritizing what to pay for. basement right now. Just an old closet. I don't need anything in there at the moment. Damn it. Another pay cut. I might need to take a second job. Shh. 
shit. Joey's awake. There's gotta be something I can this do was to settle him down. Anna's record. She loved this band. I personally think they're garbage. Never understood it. God, I remember when I first joined the force. That was a long time ago. something to get him back to sleep. Just an old closet. I don't need anything in there at the moment. I don't really need anything in the basement right now. <laughs> Me and Anna used to play all the time. God, I haven't touched this thing in ages. She was always better at it anyways. This is a long shot, but... still be here all the same baby boy the night's dark but we're never far apart cause in your heart when I'm gone I'll still be <laughs> that seemed to do it. Love you, buddy. Oh, shit. I'm running low on pills. Why do they have to be so expensive? <sighs> okay, okay. I need to take it easy. <sighs> oh, maybe I'll just head downstairs and see what's on TV.
know what? Things aren't actually looking too bad for you so far. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to say you might not end up scoring too low. Almost. I handle all the bad people, remember? So, what have we learned? A police officer, a single father... What happened to, uh, what's her name? Anna? I wonder. Well, it's not really in my jurisdiction to know about that. We're here to focus on you, my friend, and as much as I hate to say it, there hasn't really been anything I could justify docking your points for yet. Plus, you do really seem to care about that kid. I think I need to learn a little bit more about you, who you really are, where your mind's at. Step into the next room. I, I want to test something. See, I don't think I know enough about you. Yet. I want to learn who you are. Get inside of your head. So here's your job. There are two philosophers who have interesting theories about morality and ethics. They're the two guys you're looking at now. Emmanuel Kant and Jeremy Bentham. They each came up with their own idea of what a good action is. Kant proposed the idea of deontological ethics. By his model, all actions are inherently good or bad, regardless of their consequences. Now let's use the trolley dilemma as an example. A trolley is going to run over five people who are tied to the tracks. If you change the direction of the trolley, it would only hit one person. Kant would argue that you don't change the trolley's direction. Sure, five people will die, but you didn't have any direct input on it. If you change the trolley's direction, that one death was caused by you. You committed an immoral action regardless of the outcome. Jeremy Bentham, on the other hand, would disagree. Bentham proposed the idea of utilitarianism. By his ideology, the right or moral decision is the one that results in the most good. The outcome is more important than the action itself. He would say that you steer the trolley to hit the one man. Sure, you were directly involved in his death, but more people survive than would have otherwise. All you need to do is tell me who you agree with. Kant's deontological method or Bentham's method of utilitarianism. Where do your morals lie? Personally, I'm just curious who tied everyone to the tracks. There are much more efficient ways to kill people if that was your goal. Anyways, push the button in front of the portrait of who you agree with most. After that, head out into the hallway. Your next trial will be waiting for you. <laughs>